Hey guys, um, welcome to IG Live. We're back, and it feels really good to finally be talking about the fall collection. So we've been giving you some little sneak peeks up until now, but today what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the key pieces that are in the new arrivals. I'm going to answer some of the questions you guys have been hounding me about, and um, we're really trying to give you a good idea of fabrications fits, where the inspiration came from, and where this can fit into your closet. And what I've tried to do over the last uh, well, 24 hours, right, I've been trying to show you guys what my starter kit would look like. A lot of you have been writing me and asking me what are the starter pieces of Tibi and then what are the starter pieces in general if you are building a creative pragmatist wardrobe. So as we show you different pieces today, I'll also talk to you about like where that would fit in to the world of a starter kit, right? So what I'm gonna start with is the Sam jean. And I am wearing the Sam jean here. It is in a size uh, 27, although I have a big note from our tech designer here that this uh, original sample came in an inch over on the width of the uh, waist and it's going back to spec for production, so that's a good thing. Um, but some of you who have already received this jean have asked me if you should be sizing down because of where the uh, rise hits. So what I wanna show you is this jean is very much engineered to have a slouch to it. And you get that slouch by having that longer rise, but it's not like a diaper rise or a, you know, like how Rick Owens will kind of do like that curved rise that you walk like that. It's not that kind of uh, rise to it. So you're very straight through here and it just gives a lot of ease. And for me, what I was really excited about when we created this jean is I always loved the idea of like, I don't know, these French women and these jeans and they're like, they've got like such a straight up and down look, but I've got a little more curve through here and I can never really get that straight look and so really we just created these jeans to give that even if you've got some curve and if you don't have curves on it they still look great on you. Uh, all right so for the cotton poplin tops this season we've done them in a few different bodies and I'm going to try and get through them all today uh, so we can choose which one works best for you and these tend to leave our inventory the fastest so I want you to be able to make decisions uh, sooner rather than later. So the first top that I'm wearing is the V-neck top. And you can see the V comes to here. I know in production we made it a little bit lower because I like squeezed my brain out when I was putting it on. But it's got a little bit of a full sleeve, but not too much of a full sleeve. You can't get it through a blazer. And then clearly this goes from, you know, fall, winter, summer. It's just like the perfect all around cotton top and definitely PDW, right? Play dinner work. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you next is in the jean series, this is Margot coming out. And Margot has just started at the Tibby store and she's wearing the brand QC jean. So I got on the Sam jean in the black denim and Margot is wearing the brand QC. And you're wearing a 27 mm -hmm. as well. Can I see the top? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Margot's wearing a 27 and you could size down to a 26 if you wanted to. This is definitely the intent. Mm -hmm of the look but again if you if someone like Margot were to size down it would just pull a little bit more through here what i wanted to show you that Margot is wearing is uh this is the i can't remember the name of the booty it starts with the c anyways it's coming out towards the end of september and it's got enough height on it that you won't have a skin sandwich uh if you do have a skin sandwich it means that you probably wanted to buy the right koozie jean a little bit longer, mm -hmm. right? So, and to be clear guys, when we talk about the skin sandwiches, this is a sandwich right here. See that little piece of meat? That's a skin <laughs> So perfect. <laughs> but that's a skin sandwich, and that's what we try and avoid. And a good way to avoid it though when you're sitting down is we like to wear like a sock or sheer hosiery or something like that underneath. But this is a perfect boot because it's slim enough to go up under it. Um, and it's definitely a walking boot. If you bought the Lars boot from last year, the shaft on that boot works really well with it as well. Let me show you what it's doing. Marta, can you share your size and height, please? Yeah. Yes. Oh, like height and weight? Uh, just height and size. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm 5'9. Social security. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so passport number, all that. Um, I'm 5'9 um, and I'm wearing a 27. Like Amy just said, I could size down to 
with 26 too if I wanted, but I am getting that really nice low slung yeah. um, kind of vibe from these, so I would probably stick with the 27. Um, and then in the top, I'm wearing a small. I typically wear a small. And then if you'll see Margot's top here, the sweater, one of the big things about the fall collection that we were really interested in was the idea of things that uh, feel like they've had love and worn. You know, we spoke a lot about grandfathers and pieces that like when you look at them, there's a history to them, right? Uh, but you still want it to look really modern and fresh. And so for us, having this sweater that's got the chewed out elements, but the asymmetrical neckline and the little cuffy guys here, that is what gives it that modern element. So you guys ask a lot of questions about what is modernity, and it's taking something that is a classic and then adding some strangeness to it, some interest, things that pique your curiosity. I also had the question this week of what's the difference between edgy and modern, and I think for this, like edgy probably would have had a few studs in it and like a really aggressive cut out on it. Yeah, you know? for sure. Um, so this is where it's kind of striking that modern balance that uh, that we tend to reside in. Cool. So why don't you put on the suit pant with that and we can see how that looks. Okay, great. Okay. And then Christina. So Chris is wearing the slip dress here in the black. And what I spent a lot of time this week explaining with the slip dresses is we do slip dresses that are cut on the bias and we do slip dresses that are cut on the straight. And this one is cut on the straight. So if you imagine when something's on the bias, like it's literally turned on its side. So when you put it on, it would just like drape across your body and it would really hug all your curves. But when something's cut on the straight, it's designed to go a little bit more straight up and down. So Christina, we were saying you would want to size up in this yeah. one. Yeah, this is a size four. I would definitely do a size six. I'm a little bustier, I have a little bit more hip here. So I think the six would just hit perfectly mm -hmm. and more straight, like you said. And so what we wanted to show too is uh, how can you wear these things throughout the year, right? And this is, the most perfect 12 mower yeah thing. Okay. this is like daytime party summer in the city vacation um and then i'll grab a boot and a jacket and yeah. show you how to do it for work dinner but today i did a post on your starter shoes and one of the things i said it's really important in your shoe wardrobe is having that shoe that has that little bit of clunk to it so the dress that christina had on is really refined right it's quite feminine it was there was no roughness to it, no strange edges. So when she put it with the Byron slide that had that little bit of chunk to it, that bit of heft, it gave it a little bit of friction and interest. And so, you know, I mentioned today that your shoes really do, they, they should either bring something up a notch, they should take it down a notch, or they should give it some friction. So think about buying your shoes in that way. And then clearly here she is in the winter time and we did the so she's got on the liam angora here the double faced and some of you have asked if this is lined and it's not it's double faced and so the purpose of double face is you actually get the strength and the structure of a jacket that's lined without it actually being lined and that's why you're super cozy yes very cozy very luxe. Um, and this comes in the tan, the camel, and in the navy. I would still wear the navy over the black yeah, totally. as well. Um, so then someone had asked me if the fit on this one was closer to the Cassius Liam from spring, or if it was closer to the plaid, the no Novak or something? The Nova plaid. Nova plaid. And the Nova plaid was cut wider. We had to cut it a little bit wider because of the nature of the fabric. Mm -hmm. So this one fits more like the cashews. Yeah. If you like the cashews, you'll love this one. Yeah. Okay, great, thanks. Oh, and she's wearing the Freddy boot, and those are coming out towards the end of September. And guys, here's the thing. I, I've been hounded about the boots already. I didn't expect that. But unless you live in Australia or some other country that's called Brazil, right? No, my geography, I'm really bad. Anyways, um, you don't need the boot, 
until the end of September, right? Realistically. So what I want you to do is if you DM Miranda.tibby, she'll help you with the shoe selection. Cause I know there's anxiety from us selling out of the shoes and we really, really don't make a huge commitment on the quantities there. They're handmade in Italy and we don't go big there. So Miranda will help you guys decide like what shoe, what boot do you want? And then she'll make sure that you get it. Um, so I don't want you to panic and feel like you have to buy something from someone else. Um, and I don't want you to be angry that you didn't buy it from someone else and then it comes in and gets sold out right away. So Miranda is gonna hook you up or she'll hook you up with the right person who is going to totally hook you up. Um, Toretta is who I'm gonna show next. And Toretta is wearing, what's the name of this group? Costello. Costello, yeah. So this is the new Costello check. And it looks really, really great. So tell me, to, say what sizes you're wearing. So I'm wearing a six in the culottes and a size small on the top. And I believe this jacket is, is the medium. How does a medium jacket look on? get smaller than this I feel especially since I'm so tall I definitely like a more slouch relaxed look yeah so that's one of the things like you know Toretta wears heavily along a size six yeah a titty and so clearly a size small fits a four and a six but because of your height and everything the medium is completely working with you and so stay right there and I want to compare So I'm wearing the size small here. Hi. <laughs> I look so small compared to you with my like, I'm flat time. Right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is the size small. And we did the little thing here so you can bring this over. And what I love about this jacket for PDW is that I feel like the element on it, we did the studs here, and we did it because, again, playing with these really more traditional grandpa type fabrics, when you do that, it can go grandpa really, really fast, right? So things like this give things a little bit of an edge and a little bit of modernity to it. And what I love is it's, it's edge, but it's not, like for those of you who talk about what can I wear to an office, you can definitely still wear this to an office without someone like saying, you know, get home, chain. Um, but clearly it's good for playing. And then I would wear this over a black slip dress in sure. the evening with like a strappy heel sandal. And I think that would look amazing. Yeah. Um, and the fabric here is, it's a cotton fabric, and but it's a heavier weight and it's, you can really, you can get away with this now. I think, I mean, I so, you know, yeah. I'm not wearing it on the subway. When I'm right, in office, yeah. Right. It's, um, I'm about to take on, so. Yeah, but it's quite year round. I mean, I'm not taking out vacation to the Bahamas or anything with me, but I'm not going on vacation in the Bahamas, so. <laughs> there you go. Um, and this, we have the little snap. And if you look at the runway collection, we did a lot of really cool things uh, this season with playing around with scarves and things like that. So I'll show you how to do that later on. Can you just point out that? Yes. For talk about that. And I'm gonna go change my clothes. Yes. Can you talk for a while? <laughs> this makes me nervous. Okay. You know no, what? Just, you know what she's gonna talk about for a few minutes is like a little bit of the development too. Oh okay. no, <laughs> that is cool. Do you feel like that is as heavy yeah. as the um, the railroad band in the spring? I think this is as heavy, maybe a little heavier. Okay. Um, I just wanted to talk about the fit. So, yes, I normally wear a size six, right? Um, you guys have seen my Instagram, maybe some of you have. I like to cinch things a lot to accentuate the waist because, you know, I'm a bit of a curvy girl. But um, with this, I definitely would stick with the six because I tried on a four and it was like way too tight. So, um, this is definitely supposed to have a low, sitting low fit. And I'll show you the back as well. <laughs> We're now co-hosting. 
<laughs> in blue. Um, I'm wearing the Quinn floral test dress. So this is the same floral print we saw earlier in the slip dress. This is a really beautiful long sleeve version of this. Definitely still has that relaxed feel. It has this really beautiful pin tuck detail so you get a little bit of draping. It has a pocket, which we always love. And it's just super chic, definitely very fashion forward, a little bit more elevated here, um, but I'm obsessed with this. It also has detachable shoulder pads. So you get that really structured shape, but you can also take it off for a little bit more ease too. Do you remember what size panty you want to wear? You want me to see? Okay. Guys, I'm also, I'm 5'9", if anyone's wondering. I'm pretty tall. <laughs> I look taller. I am 5'4", <laughs> you can see. Um, but this is also a size small dress. So in the slip dress earlier, I felt it was a little too much hugging on the hips and the chest, but here I think I would definitely stay here in the size four, size small, um, because it is a little bit more relaxed and eased out in this silhouette. And I'm wearing the Freddy boot that I was wearing earlier. Um, so same kind of cowboy inspired shape, but still very modern and chic. And I love wearing a boot with a longer dress like this. No skin sandwiches ever. <laughs> um, and it just feels really cool. Any questions? Can you show how that print is weird and stretched and pulled and hot? Yeah, so this, um, something about fall, there was a lot of nods to kind of romance and these more classic prints, but then in true to be fashion, everything is kind of warped and manipulated. So something like this, you could see it has this really cool melting detail on the floral um, and taking something really classic and beautiful and just making it feel really modern and fresh. Um, this pattern is also really beautiful. Each one is unique and it takes a lot of time to get this to be perfectly placed like this. Very true. <laughs> Toretta knows. <laughs> if anyone knows, Toretta knows. And can you maybe show how the belt Oh yeah, this can also be belted. We have these really beautiful harness belts coming for fall too. So these will ship in August. Um, this comes in a really beautiful cognac brown and also in black. So this is definitely something that can also be belted to add a little bit more silhouette and shape. Mm -hmm. These were developed with our UK supplier, so. Very cool. And these you can also wear in a classic belt loop too, which is really great. So if you're doing this with denim, it still fits in there, but you still get that really cool edge of the more harness detail. Yeah, the belts are amazing. I'm sure these are gonna fly out immediately. You have that really cool kind of circle circle ring detail that feels very signature tippy. And then very again, refined. yes, very refined. Ooh, can't see me. <laughs> Okay, great. All right, so what I want to show you guys is this little two-piece number. And I love it when we do a two-piece because it's the ultimate, like, if you're like me and you do travel for business a lot, uh, and I still will, coming up. I'm going to Chicago next week. Yay, yay, Space 519. Uh, it's going to be great. Christina's coming with us. Um, it's going to be really, really good. But anyway, so here we have the two piece. Oh, I have to tell my, all these relatives in Chicago, I'm not sure they're watching it like, Mah! anyways, I'm coming. Um, so this is this beautiful, lightweight, gauzy wool. And I know it says gauzy, but it doesn't mean that it's see-through. And so this, this is really, really interesting. So what you have is in the skirt, you have this leather belt detail. So I can't unwrap it because you're gonna like see everything but it basically uh, buttons in right here, and then the belt comes right here and it belts. What is great about this is the belt runs through the whole skirt. I mean, you could even pull the belt out and use it separately if you wanted to. But the reason why I pull it up is, you know, there's something that feels really janky and cheap when you buy something, and it's like one of those little leather strips and they've sewn it on right here and right here. And that is really, uh, that's a shortcut, and we don't like shortcuts. So this is actually a full belt, and it's run through the tunnel here, and then it belts. So you've got this great skirt, which um, it really looks great too with just like a flat and a black shirt. I don't 
say it's a 12 mower because it is wool. So I would feel a little jerky running around in August in Manhattan with this as a skirt. It's, it's a little too warm for that. But starting in September, it's that great like September type item. September is always that weird, weird month to me because you start to get in that fall mindset, but like, and you want to dress in the spirit of fall, but then like you're sweating your ass off half the time. So you won't do that in fall with this outfit. Okay, so then you've got the top here. And the top is really beautiful. It's got this sleeve, but what I love about it is it comes with this detachable dicky. So you can either wear it full on the way that I am. So it looks like a bit of a turtleneck. I just want to show you the dicky is asymmetrical. It looks like it's chopped off. You can see we were a little obsessed with all these like asymmetrical chopped off chewed up type elements. Um, but the dicky also buttons off. I just want to say easily, but then like I look like a <laughs> guy. No one's helping me. Help. Help me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Margo buttoned me in and then she glued it. I'll take responsibility <laughs> for that. <laughs> um, actually, I am sealed on here because it's a, it's a production piece. <laughs> you don't have to rip your clothes, but we, we snapped it on. They got a little aggressive there. Anyways, this comes on and off much easier than how I did it. But I also think that when you're wearing it, you're not going to be staring at a phone with like thousands of people watching you so you can like get it off in a little bit calmer way but this looks really really cute even like just over a black sweater or something like that but this is the little two-piece number so what you're going to see here is we were really interested in things that create this double waistline effect it is what takes a fabrication that might be more traditional more business-like and it gives it a little bit of interest so you'll see Margot is going to come out here in the pant, okay, and maybe the jacket. jacket. Uh -huh. um, so the pant here has got the double waistband effect as well. And so what's really cool is you can wear it up high, and then what I love is when you're wearing the pant low, but this up high gives us extra waist definition, right? Yeah, it's really nice. Also here too, you can see there's a two button option. So if you want it to be a little bit lower and kind of flow with the rise of the pant, you can easily unbutton. I didn't glue this one together, so. <laughs> and then you can see here too. Yeah, I'm not here to mess with you. <laughs> um, and then, so this can come off completely as well. So it really is about options. You can unbutton the whole thing and take it off. Um, you can also, to be honest too, a lot of times we wear like a suspender that's hanging down, which I think is super cool. So we've got two pant bodies in this fabrication. So you're wearing the, 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 the crop pant, right. So that's the crop pant that shows a little bit of ankle. And then here is the matching blazer with it. And this blazer is called the Everett Pinstripe. So I'm going to just show you first how we like all of these textures and all of these prints that are no print. So for spring and everything, we talked so much about colors that are no colors. These are prints that are not prints. So don't have any issue mixing a stripe over the plaid here. This is like, it works, okay? Um, but then we love it head to toe as well. So I'm going to give you that. I'm gonna, if you can show all the different ways to like sure. snap it. And okay, so this is a really functional piece. Let me show you guys a little bit more detail. You can see here with the shoulder, it fully comes unhooked. Just a little bit of a scoop here, just a tiny bit of detail showing at the shoulder. And then you can reattach. Uh, I love to do one unhooked, one hooked, um, to kind of do like a little moment there to show the difference. Um, wear one folded down so you all can see and then this one also has a detail um, for the waist that you can kind of play with and do whatever you'd like um, it can wrap around um, it also has a little bit more it has an unhooked detail here too so this jacket is full of lots of buttons which really gives you the mobility to kind of style it however you want and whatever you're feeling for that day 
please. <laughs> some background music. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, well, I'll show this one too so you can see that. Another little snap detail. Um, it can come fully off as well, which is great. And then we also have snap detail on the pocket too. Look at all these snaps. Um, two pockets, um, which I personally love because I'm always carrying a million things either in my hand or in my pockets for all my pocket pants out there. And I'll show you what it looks like buttoned. And so if I fully remove the strap, this is what it looks like. And here's the back as well. You can see, it's very clean. And this one is a size four. So I usually am between a two and a four, and this one's a four. Love it. Hi again. So I'm wearing um, these vegan leather pants. These are a little tight. I would, these are a small. I would wear a medium, but I'm wearing the small right now. I have these. I love these. Um, it looks so good. You think so? I, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is how we wear it to work like this, um, you know, have the jacket cinch and the open toe shoes and but I, me all day. <laughs> but I do remember, what I what I do love about these pants though, is how much stretch they have. So depending on your comfort level, like we designed them to be a little bit slouchier, but I remember uh, this beautiful woman, and I'm blanking on her name, it started with an M, but when we were at McMullen's in uh, Oakland, she had tried them on and she was around size 14. And she put on, either, I think it was the medium, and they looked like a legging on her, but they worked, and she loved it. And so, again, there's no right or wrong, and it's like, you know, whatever really works for you, but um, they're really easy pants. Yes, super easy. I love these. Cool. Love these. And they're ones, too, that they roll up easily. Yeah. So if you're not as tall as Toretta, just roll them right which up. Which I am now. <laughs> Now that you're like in a, um, in a heel. Okay. I actually do roll up sometimes, yeah. For a more sporty look usually. But. Yeah, so down for dinner, down for work, for my children. Yeah, for the babies or something. <laughs> Two babies. How old? Shy is going to be three, August 4th, and then Zoe's going to be one, August 21st. Yeah. You were our first girls in the office. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> was the first yeah, like 25 years in yeah. business, how 24, yes. and no one ever had a girl. Right? Weird, <laughs> right? Good job. <laughs> Good job, Greta. Um, okay, so now what I want to show you is a couple things how we love layering. So this is the Angora double faced coat. And I just want to show you some of the details as well. This has the full pocket on the inside and this coat, we love it. We've done it before, we'll do it again. We'll do it next year, we love it. Um, but again, with all the double facing, uh, as always, our buttons are secured with the little tiny button on the inside as well, which keeps everything nice and tight there. I hate it when you have those buttons and they start like unraveling and falling off. Uh, but we love the coat. So this is perfect for layering. And then we've got it on over the, uh, the smocking dress. The smocking dress. And the smocking dress. Okay. So for me, what's really interesting is this dress clearly can be more of a summertime dress. And if I wore it in the summertime, what I would do is I had it on with a pair of really strappy sandals. But I would, if I were on vacation, the way that I would wear this is I would really do like a big double roll on the sleeves, okay? So if I did that, and then I've got on like the gold Larkin sandals, something really nice and strappy, this would make me really happy on vacation. But I will say for me personally, 
This is like the ultimate winter dress. I love finding ways to wear white in the winter time. If you scroll through my Instagram feed, I love a good winter white dress, but I love wearing it with the blazer on top, with the coat on top, and then with the tall boot. So it gives it the whole interesting look there. And um, this is this is definitely a street style look though. You know, I'm really I'm going to Paris in September. Dion and I are going to go there, and she's going to be all back and healthy. And um, this is what you're going to see me running around in. So this is definitely. A fashion moment uh, for those of you who write me who are in banking environments I'm not going to try and convince you that this is something that you should wear to uh, a meeting to talk about the fiscal year end um, I'm not crazy that way but if you're in an ad agency I would be wearing it with the blazer and if you're on the street to Paris I'm definitely wearing it the whole way that I set it up and I'm even putting in the earring which at the end I'm going to talk to you guys about these um, amazing earrings that Hannah made with her very own little Hannah hands. Okay, um, the pant that Christina is wearing is the recut yes. and that is getting into the warehouse tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so very this good. is the Julian Gabardine jogger. So this is a recut of the jogger we did for summer capsule which was in a lighter weight of cotton so this is just a tinge more substantial and definitely more of a year-round fabric that you can wear throughout the fall and then even into the summer months too. Um, so this is in a really beautiful deep green and then I'm wearing the Miles shirting um, cropped boyfriend shirt. So this has this really subtle scallop sleeve detail which is really cool. And what I love about this is it's cropped but it's not too cropped. So it'll never be a skin sandwich on the belly. <laughs> um, it'll always meet your pants and it's a nice cool length. Um, and also, I feel like the color combination here, this is something that is very me, and I would wear it to the office any day of the week, um, but I love like these bright blues and um, deeper greens together. It definitely feels very fresh. I'm also wearing this with the silver Byron sandals that we just got in stock. Super comfy um, in this kind of plush, pillowy leather. Um, and I also brought these out, the Morris Leopard loafers, so we are, Getting these in for fall, so those of you who love the Morris loafer, the leopard is super fun, and I think it's a really cool way to bring a little bit of a print into here while still keeping it those very will be chill. In a couple weeks, actually. Yeah, so these will be in a couple weeks. We also have them coming in gold. I don't know if I can say. Um, also in gold and a few other fun colors, but I'm obsessed with the leopard, especially here, um, and especially if you're wearing this into the office. And I think everything I'm wearing is a size small, or a four. Hi again. So, what are these? I'm wearing the um, the tech camouflage. Yeah. So this is the Stella nylon pant body. Mm -hmm. Love it. These are my favorite. <laughs> They're, they're so good. We shot them on the model, I think, with a big gray cashmere sweater. Uh, you guys, we love the nylon cargo pants and the nylon joggers, so we wanted to be able to offer them for fall in a couple different like patterns so that you have, you know, I mean, it's just, it, it, they're honestly the pants that you cannot have too many of. Yeah. Um, so. Again, one of my all the time wears, like, yeah. I always wear these. and. I think the top looks pretty nice with these. This is like a great staple to have. Um, I mean, again, it's not fundamental, so yeah. Yeah, that new color is really good. And you guys, you know, we talk a lot about that neckline that is modern. So this is the modern neckline. This is, we just wouldn't have done that kind of more average neckline, guys. So this is really modern. So we always talk about like how we go big or go home, right? So we either go up really high or we go down quite low. This one's very low, um, but you know, high, low, like you know, make a statement, have a point of view. Life's short. Are you wearing six? Um, these are four. Actually, okay. these are four, but I would get the six probably. These are these are high. I could probably relax these a bit. So, yeah. But you can see too, like again, they look good either way, right? Yeah. So really, it's like, what are you wanting to wear? 
So I'm wearing the nylon as well, but in the raincoat. And a couple of you guys have asked me, is Tibby ever gonna make like the perfectest raincoat? That's not like a real considered trench, but just an easy raincoat. And this is what this is. So it's got a hood that zips on and off. But what was really important to me about this raincoat was, you know, so many places, I mean, London, New York today, you start out your day and it's raining, and then by the end of the day, it's nice and sunny. So I really wanted to create something that could just be very, like, super balled up and tight and, you know, brought with me to the office. And then if it's sunny out, I don't feel like a jerk walking home, you know, with this like big ass trench coat. So this is what this does. And it's got a lot of style to it, especially with the sleeves here that are kind of feminine and interesting. And then this one is in the houndstooth print. So I really love this. And what I really love about it too, is I'm gonna, uh, let me put on an easier coat here. But what I love is that it's a raincoat that you can wear over another coat. So another annoying thing for you guys, especially I'm sure all you Brits or you people in Seattle, whatever, is when you have these coats and you wanna wear this beautiful wool coat, but now it's raining out and your coat like starts to smell like a, you know, like a kennel. And so the great thing is you've got a raincoat that is like Super chic, but as basic as like a poncho that they would give out at a baseball game. Is it waterproof? It is totally waterproof. Yes. Yes. Totally waterproof. No. I'm like, no. Wear this and then yeah. just get super <laughs> soaked. Uh, yeah. So it's totally <laughs> waterproof. So this becomes a raincoat for your coat as well. And then I am wearing it with the uh, cotton poplin dress here. And I want to say that with this dress, I would just make a such a mess. <laughs> My mom is messaging in, Amy Lynn. Um, okay, so I would wear a size two in this dress. I am wearing a four, four, yes, right? Yeah. They're not small, medium, large. Yeah. So I'm wearing a four. I would definitely wear a two, guys. What happens is, yes, this is a low neckline, but Dion wore this one a couple weeks ago and it didn't look anywhere near as low on her. Um, and it's because Dion is broader in the shoulders than I am and she has more of a chest. So you can imagine that if I were a little broader here and pushed out here, this is how this would fit. So even though I wear a four pretty much across the board in Tibby, when it comes to something like this, it is really reliant on this shoulder measurement to, um, to fit, then I'm, I've got to go size, size down one. But, it is the Eco Poplin. It is really light. It makes a nice sound when you walk. Uh, but what's great too is if I were to wear this with a strappy sandal in the summertime, I would really just roll my sleeves up here and then wear a strappy sandal and be good to go. But we love it with the boot. So this is the Freddy boot. And this one is coming out towards the end of September. No sooner than when you need it, okay? No sooner, no later, because, you know, like by October, you want your boots, but, uh, but we, you don't need them in August, okay? And then what we love is for fall, we really loved all of these beautiful, deeper, richer colors, these no color colors, um, but really mixing them up here then with these brights gives a lot of interest, okay? So, Hannah's earrings. Can you guys bring me the little thing of earrings on the counter? Oh, there it is. Thanks. So I want to show you what we're going to do is we're going to sell these in mismatched pairs and they are um, $3.25 for a pair. Okay. So this way you can get like, I mean, you can get them matched up if you want, or you can get them in different combinations. Okay. And so we love them uh, stacked up. When I was on vacation, just wearing a white dress, I wore them with the different colors stacked up and that felt really great. Um, but they have, God, you guys, you know, you make me panic when I do this and then like everything seems harder. So I wear them stacked up. And then what I do, I love with a cup is to find like a tiny little hoop or something that just like 
fills the hole if you have one or Dion, her ears aren't pierced so she doesn't have a hole. So that works out perfect. But these, um, what's great is they have a really good sound to them. So they make this nice clanky sound. I was just with Wendy at Kick Plate and she was like losing her shit over them. So they are so pretty and I could imagine someone if you had super tall ears and it was fashion week, you could do three of them stacked up. But you could look a little bit jerky with it. Um, anyways, the earrings are here. Hannah is hand making these. And so this is what I'm going to request that you do. If you are interested in the earrings, then what we're gonna do is uh, put out a wait list on them so that we can gauge how many we can make. Uh, we are really committed to making these by hand. Uh, she's also done incredible earrings for resort as well. So this is turning into a whole thing that Hannah has gotten great at. Um, but we are committed to doing them by hand. And so we want to know what kind of workload we have ahead of us, but it is 325 for a pair and, um, and they're really good. So I think that's it guys. Is that it? Can you try Did on the, grand, the Frank Grandpa jacket? Oh, oh. yeah. Uh, is this on, it's on the side, right? This jacket's really good. Um, but let me tell you, when I turned around just now, it was all buttoned up, but I'm gonna put it on. And maybe, can someone hand me one of the scarves over there? Okay, okay. so um, I love this jacket so much. And what it is, is it's lined here in a flannel. And the lining has a little bit of quilting to it. And there's not, um, it's not quilted with filler. Um, it's just quilted to give it a little bit more coziness, but it's not um, You're not like puffy 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 when you put it on. Okay, then we have our little hook back here and This is a really fun thing that we have coming up for fall is we just took our old vintage scarves and we created little rings and hooks on them and in the fall time, we'll do a fun event at the store where you can bring in any old scarves and we'll do this for you. We'll also do it when we go to stores and do our events at the stores in the fall. But what we did for our campaign is we just attached the scarves onto the back of the jacket. And the reason that we did it was, um, you know, as I said, we were really interested in these grandpa fabrics these things that had a lot of heritage to them. And as I mentioned, it is a very slippery slope from, you know, looking like you have heritage to like looking like you just, you know, might be covered in mothballs or whatever. Like it just can get very, very granny looking very fast. So we wanted to do things to constantly keep things in the present. And that means, you know, when you're wearing the more grandfathery fabrics that have all this like warm, fuzzy, light fuzzy texture to them you're mixing them with something crisp and clean or you're mixing them with a boot that has like an interesting high shine to it and that for me what I realized is you know I, you guys know how much I like shit on these kind of scarves right but when I put this jacket on I wanted something bold and colorful next to it okay so that is how the idea for styling this way got born so then you've got the coat here and it's got all these interesting details so you've got the little tab here that can come across and buckles and I can't ever do anything in the reverse so anyways it buckles across like this then you've got the pocket here the hidden pocket and the reason why the hidden pocket was important on this one is we have a lot of stuff going on here between the the plaid and all these details so we didn't want the buttons to be visible and it's funny it's just a little thing but you know people are going to be you know people in general especially in the industry we're all very um very inspired right now by vintage it's been a long time since we've thought a lot about vintage when i started the line 25 years ago that was all the rage if you were a vintage inspired brand that was like the first way that a magazine would describe you 
and then we went off of it for a long, long time. And now vintage is being discussed very heavily again, but for different reasons back, I think, in the early 2000s. And I think it's being discussed because people are looking for ways to put their personal stamp on things. They're looking for um, ways to not look like every other person out on the street. Uh, you know, individuality is really, really important. It is to me. I always look at people as individuals and for who they are. And so what I love with this vintage uh, fabric here, this vintage look, is um, it, it's tapping into that emotion that we're feeling for right now, but it's doing it in a way that still stays very modern, okay? Because um, I love luxury at the end of the day, and I love vintage, but you know when you go to vintage store and you're like, oh, I would love it if it was just like, oh, one thing different. So this is really updating and making it be very modern at the same time. So that hidden pocket does that. Now, one of the other key elements of this coat is the dropped waist, okay? So when you have a coat this heavy and it's a menswear inspired coat, I don't care who wears it, but menswear inspired, you want this waistline to hit down here. This is what makes it look like you grabbed this out of your grandfather's closet, okay? Is this dropped waist. And what I love about a dropped waist too is it creates like an interesting long lean silhouette because a lot of times, you know, there's just something like, um, if you've ever seen Kramer versus Kramer and Meryl Streep and she looks so chic, she's in this trench coat and she's running up to hug her kid in Central Park and she has a trench coat like all cinched around here and it looks great. But in real life, when you do that with a coat, it often doesn't look great. It like poofs out in all these different places and you just don't look very Meryl streep -y. So what we've done is we put the belt down lower. What we've also done is if your belt comes undone or you don't want to belt it up, it will stay on the belt loop because you've got this extra button here. So the belt is secured. You won't have people running after you on the subway saying, ma'am, you dropped your belt. Like happens to me all the time, ma'am. Here, Courtney's like, I haven't been called now. Oh, I have. <laughs> okay, so this is it, like a cinch style. And it's a look, but I said, you know, I, it's not, I'm not Meryl in Central Park here, and I just feel a little, I don't, I just don't feel as interesting. This, down here, this is interesting to me, okay? So it's these little things that make it new, and if you want to hike it up, you can hike it up. But this is a longer length. So, um, I think we've covered a lot today. I think you've seen the bodies. Um, and we'll be getting new stuff in at the end of the week. And we'll be, we're actually getting in a lot of new things in the Chalky Grape arena. And so um, just take a look at them when they come in. They're great, but I didn't want to show them to you today because we'll, you know, we've got a long number of weeks ahead of us. So we'll take this off in bites. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is after this on Tibby's Insta, we are gonna put up and let you know where each of the clothing is uh, within the videos, so that if you wanna go back and look just at a specific item to see how it fits um, on someone who's not a fabulous model, then um, oh, you guys are fabulous, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> they're very angry. Um, but anyways, you'll just see uh, options, right? Okay, so have a good week. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm sure you're gonna DM me tons if you do. And um, I hope you like what you saw, all right? And I'll have more coming, and yeah, my dress is too big. It's definitely too big. All right, guys, we will um, see you. Wait, is Chicago next week? Yeah. We'll see you from Chicago. It's gonna be so much fun, yay. All right, I gotta tell my Aunt Karen I'm coming. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.